Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so today um, I wanted to address a question that I get uh, a lot, and I'm really surprised it's even a question, and that is, uh, does judo help with uh, street fights? Does it work for self-defense? Of course it does. I mean, I, I don't know uh, why that's a question, but um, most people that do get into fights are not uh, trained in martial arts at all, whatever martial art it is. And the people that do train in real martial arts where there's sparring or uh, randori or rolling, whatever you want to call it, uh, a few times a week. Um, these people are not looking to get into fights. They, they know they've been in fights uh, and here, I mean, they've, they get their butts kicked a lot and there's a different kind of respect. So the people that are getting into fights, uh, more than nine times out of 10, they don't know how to fight. They're throwing a, a punch and uh, after that, they don't know what to do. They, they're probably off balance after that first punch. Maybe they can get a, they try to do a second punch, but they really don't know what they're doing. They're basically relying on maybe a sucker punch when the guy's not ready, the whole space thing. Um, like if uh, the guy's in, your, in somebody else's, like close enough to hit him and, and he, he realizes the guy's not reacting right, boom, he can, he can uh, hit him without the other guy reacting. But, um, you know, this is not, Somebody, this is only works against people that don't know what they're doing at all. So, uh, th first of all, try not to fight. I mean, there's nothing that good is going to come from fight from getting into a fight. You're going to probably hurt somebody. You're going to get sued. You're going to get uh, maybe arrested, go to jail, lose a lot of money in lawyers' fees. It's it's definitely not worth it. So, if the guy's mouthing off or something, and if he's you know over there far away. Sorry, man. You know, no, no problems here. I don't want to. I don't need any trouble. If the guy uh, ram charges you or something like that, yeah, you got to do what you got to do. If if he comes, he steps into your space where he's close enough to do something to you, you feel a little danger. Then um, I would probably put my hands up and say, Hey, man. You know, this way. You know, I'm good. You know, I, I don't know any trouble. But if if my hands are up, at least this way, it's better than being down here. And if he does like cock his shoulder back or something like that, I'm going to close this space and get to where I'm comfortable. So um, that's the first thing. Uh, secondly, um, like I said, with people that train martial arts all the time, they're used to sparring and, you know, three, four days a week, they're, they're comfortable with that space with, with, the, with an opponent and they know they're used to fighting all the time, whether it's it's not real fighting, you're practice fighting, but it's practice fighting. So you're comfortable with the, the space, you're, you're used to it, and you have a different kind of respect. You're usually not getting into fights. You know that you know, you've gotten your butt kicked many times before at the dojo, so you know, there's a different kind of respect there. But there's also that muscle memory that kicks in when the, when the fight starts, there's no time to think. You're gonna automatically do what you're comfortable with. So a striker, we do teach karate here at the club. It's important to learn how to punch and kick. If you don't, you know, turn your wrist the right way or, or turn, you know, you, you kick the wrong way, you can easily break your hands and your feet if you don't know how to uh, punch and kick. So punching and kicking is important, but uh, I think with uh, strikers, it's, it's pretty easy to close that space. If he's in arm's length or leg length distance, um, oh, to, to grab on, to get a clinch to, to, in order to use judo, it's not hard. Um, if I want to be the aggressor, maybe I'll throw a punch or a kick, and as he's uh, worried about my hands, I'm already grabbing him to, to, to use my judo. So out of the uh, different arts, you know, there's strikers. Uh, uh, like I just said with that, I think it's too easy to close the space. Wrestlers are very... Uh, good athletes, really tough guys, and they can definitely uh, be hard to beat, but the one thing that the wrestler is lacking is the finish. There's no submission, there's no chokes or arm bars in wrestling, so um, you know, if, the, if a wrestler is fighting somebody that doesn't know anything, he's gonna easily win that match, but if he's fighting somebody who does know maybe judo or some other, you know, um, it's hard for them to get a finish because the other guy can fight back pretty well and. I'm talking about comparable people. Like if you just started judo with, you know, one month, two months under your belt, and you're fighting somebody who's been training wrestling, BJJ, or striking for 
you know, their whole life, it's a different story. But I'm talking about comparable uh, athletes. So, yeah, that's wrestling. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, they, they don't have the submissions, the chokes and the arm bars. Uh, strikers, I said it was too easy to close the distance. BJJ, um, these guys are uh, really good with the uh, submissions, with the arm locks, leg locks, wrist locks, ankle locks. But they, um, first of all, BJJ came from judo. They use the same techniques as judo, but uh, in the you know early 1900s, after a judo guy went to Brazil, uh, they focused on just the submissions and the groundwork. So their stand-up game is a little bit lacking, okay? And the the fight starts standing up, um, which is where I, I believe the judo guy has. Even though the judo guy has the same techniques as the BJJ guys on the ground and everything. BJJ guys focused on it more, so they they're more precise. They're very they're they're more precise than judo guys on the ground. However, they're the, they are the same techniques, and judo is a different pace. Okay, judo is a more of explosive sport where you're throwing people as hard as you can on the ground. You got to really be explosive to do this. So they're very good athletes, and um, their nawaza, the groundwork, is also you know, it's explosive because you don't have as much time. Uh, but again, like we, sometimes the judo guy might lose an opportunity because they're not as precise as a BJJ guy because they those guys are concentrating only on that. But it's the same techniques. But the pace of a judo guy is more similar to um, a street fight. There, you know, there's it's may it's there's more mayhem. It's more faster and more explosive. So judo guys are. Um, you know, they have the same techniques, but they, like I said, the fights start, start standing up, okay? So the, the ways to win in judo are slamming your opponent as hard as possible on the ground, pinning them, and submissions with the arm bars and chokes. So, um, first of all, judo came from uh, Japanese jiu-jitsu, which was for, uh, Samurais who, when they lost their sword or they were off their horse, they did this Japanese jujitsu to control their opponent and then kill them with a smaller knife. There was also some thugs that were practicing at these dojos that, um, uh, you know, were you know beating people up to take their money or whatever. But so Japan was getting rid of the samurai way. They were killers, and you know they the. Uh, Kano brought it back by selling it as, look, we're taking only the, the less violent uh, techniques so we can train every day and better ourselves in order to better the community. So they, he got judo back into the dojos to, to continue the uh, martial art. So, um, yeah, like I said, so those are the, the rules in judo is to, is to throw, pin, and choke. Now, if you're on the street and you uh, throw somebody as hard as possible, bang, on the ground. Um, oh, actually, you might uh, say, hey, what about MMA? Well, MMA is all, it, it's mixed martial arts. So all the martial arts you can put into one sport is what MMA is. So the, you say, well, they, those guys don't always grapple. They're th punching and kicking all the time. Yeah, because the other guy is good at submissions and whatever on the ground, so they might want to keep it standing. It's a whole different thing. But it's not perfect either. It's a sport. They're not out on the street. They're on a mat. They, they're not wearing any clothes at all. Around here in Jersey, it's kind of cold. You're probably wearing a winter jacket. And if you're out on the street, the ground is hard. So like I said before, with judo, the, even though it's an Olympic sport, it's also the rules are based on martial art. If you take that person and slam them down as hard as possible on the ground, on the concrete outside, it's not like you're getting punched in the face or getting kicked. The whole ground is is beating you. The the ground is if you get, it's like the earth coming to hit you in the head, right? So like if you're getting hit, thrown on your head or thrown on your shoulder, wherever it is, it's a hard, hard uh, impact. Um, after you uh, get thrown, if that person can possibly uh, survive it, you go right to the hole. Let's say I'm in case of Gatami. You can hold a guy there forever. He's going to struggle to try to get out, waste all his energy. He's exhausted. Usually he'll be like, okay, I give up. I'm done. If not, if he's still, you know, whatever, 
you have an arm and a, a head and you can easily choke or arm bar. So you can do whatever you want to that guy. So um, like I said, uh, you know, as far as one martial art, I, I feel like judo is the most complete. And um, you know, if you're a, a, a kid that doesn't want to, you're getting bullied, you don't know how to fight back, you're uh, worried, you know, you, you don't know what you're doing, or you're a police officer uh, who uh, wants to know how to uh, control somebody who's resisting arrest, or maybe you just want to have the confidence that if you do engage in a fight that uh, your muscle memory is going to kick in, right? You're, you're not, you don't have time to think, so I, I've been doing uh, judo for the past five, six years and training three, four times a week. You're used to it. You're used to your your muscle memory will kick in, and and uh, you know. So the, the question of is it good for street fights and is it good for self defense? Well, I hopefully I convinced a few of you that um, yeah, it's probably the best. So um, I don't know. I guess that's about it. So anyway, uh, uh, hopefully uh, you liked it and uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks.